Okay, guys, I think this is the last part of the lore episode. Episode 4, the end of the days. So, let's watch this. Come in, sit down. You've let all the bloody heat out. This is the coldest night I can recall in this frozen west. I'm no chef, but I've managed the stew from what little food remains. Fortify yourself. This is the final story I have to tell you. Okay, see. You will need your strength to endure. Uh, this minutes. is the tale of the end of days. Mm -hmm. I told you of the brave heroes that defeated Diablo and Baal, and of the destruction of the World Stone and Mount Ariot by Tyriel, the Archangel of Justice. Okay. In the aftermath, his essence dispersed, and though no angel had done so before, Tyriel was able to restore his form in the realm of Pandemonium. After decades away, Tyriel returned to the High Heavens. There, he tried to convince his fellow members of the Angiris Council that they were meant to protect the innocent, and that the fate of humanity was pivotal to the future of the eternal conflict. However, they remained committed to their laws, leaving Tyriel no choice but to renounce his angelic nature, shedding his wings to embrace mortality before being cast out of the heavens. And so he fell willingly to Sanctuary, a shining star that landed in the ruins of Tristram Cathedral. New Tristram had established itself just outside the ruins of its predecessor, a thriving settlement, home to Deckard Cain and his young ward Lear. She was the daughter of Adria, who had once lived in Tristram, and grew into a wise young woman under Cain's mentorship. A group of adventurers from across Sanctuary set out to investigate the fallen star. Where she became the devil. Instead, they found a man who had lost his memory. In an effort to help this fallen stranger, How Cain sent adventurers to recover the man's okay. sword, broken and scattered in the surrounding lands. The quest would cost Deckard his life at the hands of Magda, the powerful leader of a fanatical coven devoted to Belial. With his last breaths, Cain managed to repair the stranger's sword. In doing so, yeah. he repaired Tyriel's memory, as well as the Sword of Justice itself, Elduin. For this deed, and for many, many more, I believe history will judge Deckard Cain amongst the greatest Haradrim, representing the best of what the Haradric Order can be. His contributions to the Haradrim and to humanity cannot be overstated. The day he left us, was a dark day for us all. Yeah. In that moment of deep loss and grief, Leah was overcome by a dark power within herself. When the power burst free, it was strong enough to drive Magda away. This was the first sign that her destiny was cruelly marked by forces greater than any knew. Yeah. After Cain's death, the adventurers Leah and Tyriel tracked Magda to Chaldeum, where, Chaldeum. unbeknownst to them, Belial was impersonating the ruler of the region. Their pursuits ended in the dry deserts of Kajistan, mm -hmm. where they confronted Magda and struck her down, avenging Cain's death. The heroes found another ally in Adria, Leah's mother, who wanted to help her daughter contain the growing darkness. She helped them uncover the location of the Black Soul Stone, an extraordinary artifact created by the renegade Haradrim Zoltan Kool which could trap multiple essences of both angel and demon, then permanently destroy them. Uh -huh. Black Soulstone in hand, they confronted Belial and revealed his great deception. Defeating him, they sealed him inside this Soulstone prison. But, as we have seen time and time again, evil is never idle. Asmadan, the Lord of Sin, had undertaken an audacious invasion of Sanctuary seeking the Black Soulstone for himself. All the great evils save he and Diablo had been trapped in the Soulstone, giving Asmodan an opportunity to become the prime evil. His vast demonic army erupted from Ariat Crater, the scar left behind by the World Stone's destruction. The party hurried to aid the forces of Bastion's Keep, the only defense against Asmodan's forces. Though the fortress had been battered, the adventurers fought through legions of demons and overcame the Lord of Sin at the heart of the crater, sealing him in the Black Soulstone as well. 
Horror. It seemed yeah. as though the tide was turning in humanity's favor. But Adria had other plans. She had lied about the Black Soul Stone, having used it to mark the souls of all seven great evils for containment, while leaving Diablo unbound. The witch then offered Leah her own daughter as a vessel for Diablo's return. Oh. An act she had planned since her child's conception. When Aiden sought solace with her in Tristram, Adria had already pledged herself to the Lord of Terror's service. Under the guise of her care, she used the Prince's torment to her advantage, allowing Diablo to deepen his hold on the Prince. When he left as the Dark Wanderer, so too did Adria. Soon after, she bore his child, Leah, whom she left in Chaldeum under a friend's care. Children should not be punished for their parents' sins, no matter how great they may be. From the moment of her birth, Leah's fate was tied inextricably to Diablo, his essence part of her creation. With Adria's betrayal revealed, Diablo seized control of the Black Soul Stone, using it to channel the essences of all the Lords of Hell into himself. Brimming with power, he twisted Leah's body into a new horrific form, the Prime Evil. With his newfound strength, he set his eyes on a prize far greater than our world, the utter destruction of the High Heavens. With his unheralded power, the Lord of Terror breached the Diamond Gates of the High Heavens. He single-handedly routed Imperius, leader of the Angiris Council, with barely a thought. The Prime Evil opened Hell Rifts inside the Silver City, unleashing the minions of the Burning Hells leaving him to continue towards the Crystal Arch. As demons ravaged the Silver City, the heroes came to Heaven's aid. They fought their way through hordes of demon kind, aiding the Heavens where they could, and soon arrived atop the Silver Spire to battle Diablo himself. Against all odds, the Prime Evil was defeated, yeah. his essence trapped in the Black Soul Stone. Again. Tyriel returned to the Angiris Council as a mortal, now embodying the aspect of wisdom. And for a moment, it seemed like Sanctuary might see peace. But, as you know well, peace does not last. All was not well with the High Heavens. Decades before Diablo's assault on the High Heavens, Malthiel had abandoned the Council, the Heavens, and his position as the aspect of wisdom. The ravages of the eternal conflict must have taken their toll on Malthael's mind. I often wonder what he saw that convinced him to forsake wisdom for death. Malthael had long desired an end to the eternal conflict and finally saw his chance with Diablo's defeat. With the seven great evils gone, he turned his attention to humanity, but Malthael was not interested in winning our hearts and minds. His solution was far simpler far colder. To Malthael, humanity would never be more than demon spawn. And for the eternal conflict to reach its conclusion, all demon kind needed to be eradicated. But to achieve his ultimate goal, Malthael had to retrieve the Black Soul Stone, which was now in the hands of what remained of the Haradrim. I likely owe my life to Elduin. In that first confrontation with Malthael, in the black tunnels of the tomb of Rakus, I faced death himself. As my brethren fell and died, oh, I was protected behind a magical shield that Tyriel raised using his sword. When we emerged onto the city streets, we were met with horror beyond the comprehension. Prize in hand, Malthael and his reapers laid waste to West March. The grisly slaughter I witnessed there nearly destroyed me. They were harvesting the souls of the people. With each death, Malthael grew more powerful. Malthael soon took the Black Soul Stone to the Pandemonium Fortress, where he began to manipulate its power. Struggling to find where he had gone, the adventurers turned to the only person on Sanctuary who might know Malthael's location, the traitor Adria. The witch, however, did not wish to cooperate and transformed into a terrifying monster, it powered by blood magic. Delivering final justice against Adria's betrayal, they struck down the abomination and set out for the Pandemonium Fortress to confront Malthael. 
by the time they arrived. It was too late. Malthael had already sent the Black Soulstorm to Sanctuary, and it was fulfilling its dark purpose, tearing the demonic essence out of every single person. Freeing the spirits of their own kin and leaders, the heroes became one with death, and were finally able to fight against Malthael on even ground. A great battle ensued, and in a last ditch effort to secure victory, Malthael shattered the Black Soulstorm to take on the power of the great evil still trapped inside. The heroes valiantly rallied in defense of Sanctuary, the power of the spirits within allowing them to defeat death itself. The aftermath of Malthael's use of the Black Soulstone saw Tyrael gone from Sanctuary and countless dead. Mm -hmm. What happened to Diablo remains a mystery that haunts me. I chose Solitude and Ale over futile efforts to bring light back into our world. But there are times, such as this, where I feel hope struggling to take root once more. But to hope for salvation while doing nothing to attain it brings only ruin. I have learned this many times over. Judge a person by their actions, not their words. Lilith has returned. You sense the daughter of hatred in the growing shadows, as do I. I can no longer fight with steel and blood, but perhaps the knowledge I've shared will act as an armor in your own battle with the coming darkness. Take care, young scholar, wherever your path may lead you. I hope for your sake, it leads down a different path than mine. This is transition for Diablo 4. Okay, good. I think that's it. Thank you for joining me. See you in the next video.